Welcome back to Train Fight Win. The, this next setup that we're going to talk about is a little bit of mixing your guards. Your butterfly guard and your rubber guard primarily. Uh, I like butterfly guard a lot. That's my go-to guard. Uh, that's my sweeping guard. That's I really, really like the butterfly guard. But a lot of people know that about me. And a lot of people that I've trained with extensively like to stay away from my butterfly guard or they'll try to neutralize it as soon as I get to it. So it's forced me to start developing some of my other guards even more. Primarily, one of the things that happens a lot is when I end up in butterfly guard, I'll have people that will push my back flat to the mat and they'll, they'll press my hips in. Now in butterfly guard, or any other guard for that matter, if you are flat on your back, you're losing. This is not a good position for me. I, I have no power in my legs whatsoever. I can't, uh, I can't really extend him. It's kind of like the jaws of an alligator. Uh, trying to stop an alligator's mouth from closing is almost impossible. But if his mouth is already closed, Holding it closed is very easy. Same with your legs. Trying to extend my legs from here is just almost impossible because his elbows are pinching down, his hips and his legs are pushing up. I'm in a bad spot here. He's going to start to pass uh, where he's going to go for either a reach under pass, a two on one, and he's easily going to be around my guard. This is no good. So what I'm going to do is as soon as he starts going here, I want to flare these elbows out or up. If he puts his hands in my armpit, I will have to flare them out because I can't flare them up. Some guys will put their hands either on your ribs or on your biceps, wherever they are, and you'll be able to grab here and flare them up. Either way, it does not matter. But what I want to do is, is shoulder walk away from him a little bit. That opens my legs a little bit. Flare his arms and do the rocking chair that we've talked about here. Now, you're not going to get a full rocking chair out of this. And keep in mind, he's going to be slamming back pretty hard. So this part's quick. We're just going to get to right here, and then we're going to fall to one shoulder and free a leg, and then put the other shoulder on the ground and free the other leg. So from here, boom, boom. Now we're back in a full guard. Well, if he's already going to be pressing us down like this, we want to go ahead and shrimp and point one leg straight up. And when we point this leg up, the other one's going to come right over. Okay, I'm not a flexible guy by any stretch of the imagination, but I can pull rubber guard from here pretty easily. All in one motion, it's going to look like this. My partner is keeping my legs really pressed down. Shoulder walk, flare, here, now here. Since he's already this low, push and here. Okay, if you want, you can even start to get up here. I mean, you can start working all your options. Uh, as you work with rubber guard, you know, you've got all the standard stuff that, that is applicable. I'm in my butterfly guard. My opponent has me claps down pretty bad. What I want to do is control his biceps from here, I don't start immediately just trying to pry his biceps open. I kind of just keep them where they are, walk away, okay? You don't have to walk two miles, you're just moving about six inches just so that you have enough room when you flare these up, you can extend your legs. That gives you like a foot of space where you can fall back right here. Now when you fall, post on one hip, in this case, I'm posting here and I'm pointing this one to the sky. When my ankle is pointing up, my knee is pointing down. That's very important. And notice, I'm not flat on my back just trying to reach up and grab rubber guard. That isn't going to happen. I'm here, and now it comes up real easy. Okay? Now from here, you've got all your options. I pull butterfly guard. My opponent's flattened me out. I, I can't really get anything going here. So I, I'm moving my shoulders back. That's a good drill to work on as well. Shoulder walking away. Flaring and sitting up. Now look at all the space that I have. As I fall back, that's where I can pull guard. You'll get to where you can even, instead of pulling all the way out, you'll get to where you'll just post here and go ahead and fall back into a rubber guard scenario. Okay, and what, however's comfortable for you. But to walk through it the way we've been doing it in this video, I pinch down, I shoulder walk, extends him out, and then I fall back here. He stays low, so I'm here. I'm gonna post on this leg, point this one to the sky and bring this leg up. I've already got a hand on the mat. I'm already set up for all my good rubber guard stuff. That's a quick way to combine two of your different guards. You got a good butterfly setup. Somebody starts uh, really compressing you down and they shut down your butterfly guard so it's waiting for you to transition directly into rubber guard.